Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Mel Dorado, the host of the Mel Dorado Show in Car from Cars 2. Now before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's get right into the unboxing. So, here we've got his artwork for Cars 3, the red background and the the old Cars logo, and we've got his die cast all sealed up, and the metal logo and the Mattel logo. And on the back we've got the Cars 2 logo, and we have Wasabi Mouth Mater that I don't, don't want, Artist Ramon, Chisaki, Francesco Bernoulli, Otis, Sarge, and Lee Rasse, who I unfortunately don't have. We've got, we have the Mattel logo, and powering the next generation through play, Disney slash Pixar, www.disney.com slash cars, Chevrolet, El Dorado, Cheap, Pugat, which are copyrighted, the RSN logo saying RSN Racing Sports Network made in Thailand. So now without any further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. I'll be back right after this has been uh, has been unboxed. So here we have Mel Dorado all opened up and out of the package. So, anyhow, Mel Dorado is a 1976 Cadillac El Dorado two-door coupe who happens to be the host of the El Dorado show, which happens to be Sarge's favorite TV program. And he is obviously based off of Larry King and was voiced by Patrick Walker and there is also another Cadillac El Dorado in the Cars universe El Guapo from Cars the Video Game and he also resembles Tex Dynaco, even though Tex here is a 1975 Coupe de Ville. Anyhow, during his appearance in Cars 2, he was seen hosting the El Dor the, I mean, the Mel Dorado show, which was on a TV screen at the Wheelwell Motel. Ho inviting a new host to the show, Sir Miles Axelrod, an oil tycoon who happened to be the inventor of All in All, a scheme of alternative fuel powering an international racing competition known as the World Grand Prix. And Another host that was starred into the show was an Italian open wheel racer named Francesco Bernoulli. They, they tried calling someone on the air, starting with Baltimore, Ohio, but but it briefly, but it unfortunately it hanged up. So they decided to go to Radiator Springs. So. Ma Mater called into the show oh, about Lightning McQueen being slow, and then, and that exact moment, Lightning McQueen had called in and then started calling Francesco fragile. 
which, and it made Francesco set off, set off, and it really set off Francesco easily. And I think you, and I real, and to be honest, I really thought it was funny how Lightning called Francesco fragile, wasn't it to you? Please tell me what you think of that scene in the comments down below. So anyhow, <clears throat> Axelrod had decided to invite. Lightning McQueen to the World Grand Prix, then Lightning stated that his pit crew were taking some time off and and they just got back, so he so he so he accepted the offer. So anyhow, during his diecast releases, Mel Dorado was released as a single a few times in 2011, 2013. 2014 and 2022. So now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here I've got his happy facial expression, his headlights and grill and front bumper, which all chrome silver gray. And we also have his black reading glasses and his gray side view mirrors. Although, although Mel right here is pretty bit of a nerd right there, knowing that some nerds ha wear glasses. And we have no tampons on the hood. And on, and on both sides we've got his gray, chrome gray silver rims on the black wall tires in the, his door. And on the, and on the top we have half goldish orange and half white and on the trunk there are no tampos it's just the Cadillac logo right there and the red tail lights and the chrome silver gray back bumper and we got a license plate which I can't even make out I think hold on I think it says El Dorado I'm pretty sure it says El Dorado, though I can't be too sure though. And on the undercarriage, we have Mattel Disney slash Pixar, made in Thailand. Oh, and I also forgot to mention the exhaust pipe, and what in the name of Green Hills and Mobius are these holes for? Tell me what, you, what they're, these holes are here for in the comments down below. And now let's pull up some of the other Cadillacs. We've got El Guapo from the Cars video game, who is another 1976 El Dorado. And Tex Dynaco, who is a 1975 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. And that is it for my review of Mel Dorado. So, what do you guys think? Which Cadillac model is your favorite? And which car for tomorrow do you wish for me to review? Should it be... That's jamming? Or the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions in the comments and on the down below and on the voting poll. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!